What's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome to a special episode of Comic Book Guy Reviews. Today we got a special guest on the channel. We got Pablo from Ehimo Adventures. Hello, you all. How is going? If you guys are in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure collecting game, you would know that Pablo from Ehimo Adventures is the king at mashup <laughs> and custom figure ideas. Anything from uh, Street Sharks, RoboCop, Spawn, Spider-Man, Super Mario Brothers, uh, the list goes on and on, Ghostbusters, anything and everything in between from the 80s and 90s, you do, and you do a fantastic job at it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Look at that box art, man. If you collected in the 80s and 90s, this just looks like it's off the shelf of like a Toys R Us or a KB Toys. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Look at that thing. It's amazing. That is a special one. That's not the common one. Like, that is not uh, Donatello. And yes, you were, cool enough, and... you were cool enough yeah. to make the Raphael for me, which <laughs> I highly appreciate. One of a kind. That, that is like... <laughs> yeah, I got two more coming too. I got, uh, I got a special Raphael Luigi coming. Yeah. And uh, Judge Red, which is Judge Dredd and Raphael mixed. <laughs> so you've been doing this since 2015, correct? So almost 10 years. Yep. What made you start doing it in the first place? I painted miniatures like since I was a child. Yeah. And I, I'm always messing with uh, with figures and painting and and making custom stuff for everybody. And I first uh, thought like I can do that. I I I know how to paint. I know how to sculpt. And let's give it a try. And what was the first figure you yeah, that you like officially did? My first custom uh, uh, wasn't a turtle. Was a, a repaint, a simple right. repaint. It was from Street Sharks. Street Sharks. I, th I, I think it's, it is in on my on my Instagram. But before that, I worked with a, with an artist that he, she made like dolls, clothes for dolls, for racing dolls. Clothes and, for, for dolls. Okay. Yeah. And she hired me to make accessories, resin accessories, because I know I knew how to cast and paint, and okay. and that that was my very first approachment to to custom figures. But once I start collecting street sharks, were my my first subject of experiment. <laughs> the first, the very first repaint was where street sharks. The very first figure in resin that I made. Uh, was Heyman. Heyman was a. Uh, it was based on on Heyman and yeah. a mix with uh, Toxic Crusader. Okay. And that that was the the very first. You've been collecting since you were a kid, right? Collecting? No, no, no not exactly. Uh, I started collecting um, like nine to ten years ago, but painting, painting, and sculpting uh, since I was very young, like eleven years old or something like that. So, but you were into. Even if you weren't collecting it, you were still into the Ninja Turtles cartoons and yeah. Street Sharks and yeah. Toxic Crusaders and all that stuff. It's it's crazy to think that all the way in Spain, that the same stuff <laughs> was going on there. It's 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 awesome that I'm right now sitting in the states and I'm talking to you in Spain. <laughs> it's super yes, cool. It's super was... cool what the uh, what the community, what the toy community could could uh, right. introduce you to. I never thought I'd be sitting here talking to someone from Spain <laughs> who has the same. Me neither. Me, me neither. <laughs> it it still blows my mind. Yeah, I, I mean, can just, uh, I can hit a button and you and I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram change changed a lot. That that's that's the key. That's the 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 main reason I'm I'm here. I found you through a turtle group and then your Instagram. And now you and I are sitting here chatting. So social media, <laughs> so social media can be terrible sometimes, but it also could no, be but... super helpful and a tool for yeah, connecting it, to people. Not only a tool, it, it is wonderful. You can meet uh, very, very nice people. And I, I did a lot of friends. I meet my, uh, my illustrator in, and now we are like super close friends. With your box art, you collaborate with some artists to do the box art, correct? Correct. Do you want to give a shout out to anyone for who you work with, who you collaborate with? Yeah, that one was made by Turbo Park, and Turbo Park is, is still like my main option 
he's super good. He imp uh, improved a lot. He changed a lot uh, in the in the good way. And like he's he's amazing. He's working with Super Seven and and many that's, other artists. That's awesome. Yeah, he, he did like the reaction Charles uh, oh, cardboard. Card I, have packs. Some, I have some over there. Shout out, shout out to Turbo Hork right now. Shout uh, out to him. I, I started following him after I spoke to you the first time to check out uh, his page to see other art that he does. And he's amazing. Luke Tobias is also amazing. Also, I checked him out too. He collaborates with you as well. Yes. Luke is from, from UK and he's a really nice guy. And I love his work. He made uh, Toidal Juice. And Toidal Juice, think, yes. Yes. I, and I think it is my best. Um, bestseller till today that head pops off and there's another little yeah. head under there that's <laughs> <Yeah>. amazing <laughs> it's amazing it is, a, it is glowing the dark too yeah see <laughs> we we need the slime and the glow <laughs> yeah. more slime playmates if you're listening to us playmates more slime bring it back <laughs> black he made a lot of from a lot of stuff from my la last toys he made a couple of designs uh, Black Cretu, that's okay. his name. And Juan Gedeon. Juan Gedeon is from Argentina and he made the Dolly Trooper and he will make the Spawn Turtle. Uh, the Spawn Turtle. Yeah. And... yeah I'll send, me, um, send me their links after we get off and I'll okay, put okay. all of their links to their uh, okay. Instagrams or socials in the, the uh, description. Check out all their stuff. Uh, you only have, you, you mainly use Instagram for your socials, yeah. right? Check out Aimo Adventures on, on Instagram. You'll be scrolling there for 10 to 15 <laughs> minutes looking at all the awesome stuff he does. So all the links will be down below. Definitely go support these guys. Support Pablo. You do amazing stuff, man, and you deserve the praise for it. Thanks. thanks bro. <laughs> Let's say you come up with an idea, right? You come up okay. with an idea. We're going to do uh, Ghostbusters, Ninja Turtles. We're going to do Slimers, Michelangelo. So what is your step one to it all the way to production? Like my, my workflow, it, it depends. It is not always the same. Sometimes I just uh, sit in front of the computer and I start sculpting because I have a, an idea and and go for it. Yeah. But uh, in, in the slammer, in the in that case, uh, I first draw it. I make a I, I made a sketch and then I made a a proper illustration. Uh, I just uh, show it in, in my in my Instagram uh, to see the the people's reaction. But because sometimes I'm very sure with an idea. I'm, I'm but other times I, I just want to see the feedback. I want to see the the reaction of the people, and and, and they sometimes give me a very good ideas. Or or I show all of my work to Turbo Park, and, he, and he's always free to to send me back uh, some feedback, and 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 we work very close like we both do it do that he uh, he uh, does it with his work and and mm, you do it with his yeah we so work it, like you work as we a are team. like it's work you work as a team and it's awesome to have creative people that are supportive yeah and and, 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 and they are so stuff. hard to find oh yeah of course. yeah we are way those too and we we loved about the same jokes and we have like a common sense of humor and and sometimes I just call uh, a thing to make him laugh, and <laughs> and that's that's it. That there is no no more reason just to have fun. If you're not doing this to have fun, then why are you doing it? Yeah, that's the reason why you started doing it in the first place because it's fun. If it could yeah. turn into you know a career opportunity or you know pays the bills, that's just extra. That's just an yeah. extra benefit. Pictures, ideas, sketches, all that kind of stuff. So then you would what 3D map. Once I, I draw uh, something or, or or I made a quick uh, research on inst on on internet, I also uh, look for something similar. I w I want to be sure that uh, nobody made it before me. That's very important for me because for me to find something new is a challenge too. So to bring something new, it is very important for me. And after that, like. I set everything on my screen. I open ZBrush uh, and start sculpting. Or sometimes I use uh, scans to uh, to make bootlegs in the in the in the old way, like cutting uh, figures and put it together, kit bashing, making kit bashing. 
but now we can uh, 3D scan stuff. We can use uh, previous heads. We can use uh, other figures and upscaling them and use it uh, meshing together. I scooped in, in zebras and it, it takes me uh, like three or four days to, to finish an idea. I think I, I'm very fast. I can scoop like all day and all or night. Yeah, <laughs> all night, I, I, and 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 my wife needs to to remember me like you need you need to to drink to to sleep you need to to eat <laughs> because uh, when I'm full focus I can school like eight nine ten hours without the stop and because it is so funny to me it, yeah. it's so fun sorry so fun to me and sometimes when when I get hyper focused on a video yeah. I'll be editing till ten a.m. Yeah, it's it's almost it, I'll be getting in the shower at 11 a.m. in bed at <laughs> noon because I've been up since midnight doing everything until till noon the next day. And I'm like, oh, my God, 10 hours <laughs> pass by where to go. <laughs> do you mainly use a 3D scanner or do you do you prefer to hand sculpt? Do you kind of do both? Well, I can do both. And I'm coming from I jumped from the traditional sculpting to 3D sculpt or modeling. I can hand sculpt. I love it. But. For me, it is way easier to to 3D sculpt, and it is uh, faster and cheaper, and you have a lot of tools that you you don't have in the in the physical world. Like you 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 can't make it some you can make something bigger. It is different. It is different, and yeah, that, that's it. I, I can do both, but for now, I uh, I I prefer like digital st stuff. Well, it, it probably helps a lot too because you know you'll put out a pre order and once all yeah. those sell, you'll have you know X amount to put into production now to make your customers happy and to get them out there and get them in people's hands. I'm sure three D printing makes that way more efficient. You hand paint everything. Yeah. Do you like doing uh, traditional brushes? Do you like doing air? Like like which which way do you prefer? Painting. Uh, yes, I hand paint everything. I use brush, I use eye brush, I use uh, sprays, I, I use everything <laughs> to, to rush some process. I print in color to save me some time. And, some time. Um, I, I love painting. I must say uh, painting is, uh, uh, for me, it is very important uh, also to, 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 to paint it as clean as possible and, and to make it uh, looking like a like a industrial yes uh, toy not not the the ones that that are made today but no. the, the the ones that we like and that's it I put a lot of effort into it and for me this is important like very very important that the the people who receive receive the, the the figure feels like like it is it is way better than in the picture you know yeah, when, yeah. when when you see it in hand. It feels not only feels uh, nostalgic. It has the ninety bit vibes, but but also the the, the pain application. It, the it is on point, you know. It, the quality is good. The the, the finishes are, are good, and they are shine and the 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 clean. And I don't know if if it, that's the word. Like it, that works it, absolutely. It, yeah, it looks fine. It looks clean and and. I try to imitate the 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 way that um, back in the nineties, um, like playmates, the playmates, playmates style, the Toxic Crusaders, Ninja Turtles, yeah. bright, vibrant colors. Yeah, yeah, a vintage figure. You can see a lot of details that are not painted, and mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I, I'm I like think... Worm or 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 Muck Man. Yeah, comes that, to that, mind. That's, yeah, that, that that's 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 it, and you can spend some time discovering the stuff. Like watching, oh, it has a a, a band, band aid, or yeah. it has a <laughs> uh, some slime in in the, in the pocket, or it has some uh, scar in the and putting that details and they are it'll so important for me. Yeah, it'll make it pop yeah. more. Once they are painted, I put it on the on the on the packaging. But before that, I I need to create the packaging, and and that's a very interesting point, and it, it was so so hard to figure out how to make it to make it sorry, in the in the in the beginning, 
when when I started making turtles, uh, nobody used uh, uh, nobody made like the internal the the, the trial trial is is the word like the... talking about like like the internal plastic like yeah that, that one that yes. one everything on on that figure is handmade yeah so so I thermoformed the bubble the bubble yes yeah. That that was made on on my house by myself. How to make that wasn't easy at all. A lot, because, of, a lot of trial and error, I'm sure. Yeah. And hats off, hats off to doing the resealable. So if you yeah. wanted to, you want to display it like this, you can. If you want to open it and not destroy the packaging, you could yeah. save the packaging and display it with whatever way you want. That was not my first option. They are resin figures, after all, they are not real toys. And resin are uh, re resin is uh, is so fragile sometimes, and a rough uh, ship shipment is could damage the figure. So I decide to to make it removable, removable, yes, uh, and removable, resealable, mainly for the shipment and for give give the people the the option to handle the figure because they they are not made. Uh, for playing, they are made just for display. Adult displays, adult yeah. toys. But but it is important to 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 ha to handle the the figure and to feel it. There's something different about it. about holding the figure in your hand yeah. and being able to feel it and look at all the details, you know, up close and everything. It's not the same as having it in the box. But the display option in box is still a cool option that you keep. So yeah, it's it's a win win. How many pre-orders do you usually like? How many how many runs do you usually do a year? Per year, it depends. Maybe around one hundred orders. They are roughly like uh, two hundred figures per year. Is there any rhyme or reason to when you actually schedule them, or is it kind of just? I feel like doing them. I'm ready. Let's 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 do it. <laughs> uh, it, it, I don't know. It depends. Well, this is why this is why this is why you have to follow Emo Adventures on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. So you can keep an eye on his process. And when he tells all you guys pre-order time, you can grab a window. Yeah. <laughs> I try to make it like at 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 least once per year or once uh, per uh, six uh, months. And I I made also some small sales or um, through my stories because sometimes sometimes I, I make I, I make stuff for shows or something like that and just uh, put it online so if you have a, like a small run or a couple extra yeah. or something I'm thinking um change that lately because I'm a little bit tired of uh, from my last pre-order and I think for for the rest of the year and also for Probably 2025, I will run small sales, like okay. uh, once per month or so, uh, 10 figures, 20 figures per month, there you uh, go. Drop, drop them, sell them, and then move to the next one. Because I have like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not joking, like I have like 10 figures ready for, for, for selling and I don't want to run 10 pre-orders at the same time. Because yeah, I yeah. can't, I can't I physically I can't. It's so, just you. It's just you. Yeah. So, so you can't, just you can't me. burn yourself yeah. out with it. Yeah. So I prefer to to make small runs and let's see. Uh, not totally sure. No, uh, maybe I will drop a pre-order in in a couple of months. I don't know. But for me, uh, that's what what is on my mind right now. Well, I, I think that could be good on both ends because you would give yourself a smaller workload, but yep. then you would have uh, pre-orders going on more. Uh, you have pre-orders going often. on more yeah. often, and then you yeah. can get your figures into people's hands yeah. quicker. And, and you know, yeah. every month, every two months, which, whatever you end up doing, instead of making people wait once or twice a year, which yeah. your figures are 1,000% worth waiting for. That's <laughs> that, that's you. not the problem. But <laughs> when was your last pre-order? And uh what did you do teen wolf that was last one or is that no something... uh teen wolf will, will be my 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 one of my next drops okay so let's... my latest prior there was uh just the rabbit was gums the 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 shark and some others figures that are not uh turtles 
And okay. also the Mad Doctor. The Mad Doctor was a turtle, a new turtle. And that's what they were from the last year. I mean, I'm, I'm finishing the, that pre-order. I'm shipping the last toys. And oof, it, 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 was, it was hard. It was really hard because I, I made a lot of different figures at the same time. And then, and then that, that's the reason because I'm, I'm changing the, the method. That, that, that was the, the, the Mac Doctor done. I made it for an online show hosted by Lab Monkey number nine. And he's another very good artist. Check, check, it, check his work on, on Instagram. It, it was uh, something, a show uh, related to Frank, uh, Frankenstein Monster. And Frankenstein I Monster. The, yeah, I made the Mad Doctor. That was a, a very fun, uh, fun to do. And also, I, I, I keep doing. Um, franchise stuff like uh, Star Wars. I made, I made Luke Skywalker. I made um, Beetlejuice, uh, Robocop, Spawn, and I will try to 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 continue with them to make uh, uh, comic related figures and, and Spider Man, other... Venom, yeah. all those ones you did. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. You you need to do a Mortal Kombat mashup and a <laughs> and a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers mashup. Like imagine, imagine uh, Michelangelo as Scorpion, Leonardo as Sub Zero, uh, <laughs> Krang as Goro. You have Goro just Krang in his yeah. stomach. That would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Power Rangers, for example, is one of my my very favorite franchise, and yeah, I've and, I a, and I have a lot of stuff. And... I would love to see the Turtles Power Rangers mashup, but in the Playmate style, like the uh, yeah, me too. style. Maybe, maybe one day when I will work on that for sure. For sure. I would, and I would like a personal heads up when they, you They are to do that. two <laughs> options. And, and like, well, I made uh, some Power Rangers related stuff. I just remember uh, oh, one you? of my, yeah, one of my very, uh, Last figures was a uh, uh, mega sword, kind oh, of. Oh, cool! Yeah, um, I like the the, oh, the. You did you did the mega sword where they actually looked like the the, yeah. the alive dinosaurs? Yes, I, <laughs> I recall seeing that. Yes, that was awesome. It doesn't look like the 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 robot, like yeah. the Zord. It's like the actual dinosaurs wrapping and making the the body. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. For me, the, the, there's two options with the turtles, like turtles with 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 Power Rangers uh, suits. And also, I love the the other ones, the mutants, mutant dinosaurs that yeah. that they are Power Rangers. Did, uh, did you? So you have the, the the suits or the Zords. You can kind of do yeah. both. Yeah. Do you, the, uh, I don't know if you saw that that once. Like they are uh, mutant dinosaurs. In the oh, you talking the comic book. Yeah. Yeah, and um, in last was it last year's Boom Studios comic. The Power Rangers became mutants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I it was uh, Team and was it Team and T Power Rangers three or two? I don't remember, but it's it's definitely yeah. It's a uh, that's a opportunity that Hasbro needs to do the <laughs> the the mutated Power Rangers. I, I think that's a slam dunk when it comes to figures. I don't know why that's <laughs> not being done. Is is the next big drop the Teen Wolf one? I want I want Teen Wolf for for Halloween. For Halloween, think, okay, yeah, it is the right, the right time. To, <laughs> the yes, right that, time to that the, is yeah. definitely the right time. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to show you some some sculpts. Okay, so I can share you my my screen. Okay. No, can you see it? Uh, yes, now I can see it. Yes. Well, I I saw it in on Instagram, but I think it is you can zoom here and see what what i'm well as i said uh, this the the last figures i made an improvement too and look at the clothes look at the the paints and the on the shirt yes you can see like the, the breathable texture. athletic oh look at that comb in the back <laughs> oh yeah yeah see, those are those little details that we're talking about before yeah. with like muckman and the band-aid yeah so this is this is the uh, Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf was wasn't uh, totally fully fully sculpted. It wasn't fully sculpted. It, it was like some kind of digital bootleg. I use a Dunkin' Don and and the Leo Teen, uh, Leo Wolf 
and mix it together to make it to make this one because I was in a in a rush and I need to to make it in a couple of days. But I think they look good. I I love. Well, it's uh, those 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 two are definitely good inspirations. So this is a crank ball. Crank ball. Yeah. You know what? that that's funny that that that's crank. I was gonna bring up. Uh, do you ever want to do any any villain type things? Like a Krang mashup or a Shredder mashup, Bebop and Rocksteady, uh, you know, it, uh, a Foot Soldier. Yeah, I made uh, a Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, see, it, I, it see. was a split one, right? Yeah. Yes. But I, I want to make more because they are they are so amazing. I love them. I I love Rocksteady. Rocksteady was my favorite uh, as a child. Yeah. Um, but Bebop is is amazing too. It, the the it has a so good, very good design. I love it. I really love it both. Um, I have some stuff on mine for sure. I, I have like I want to make it make them. I want to make a make it a bones a skeletons in the skeleton. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I have a a ton of ideas about this weather too, and well, we will see. I, I will need uh, probably I will need an, another life to make to bring <laughs> bring all of them, but. I will make like a crank. I don't know Darth Vader crank, yeah, or Darth Vader uh, shredder or something like that, because I love billions. Uh, for me, they are very interesting. I'm showing you now the the King Kong one in in the program. You will see better the the details okay. and the the back and that kind of stuff. So that is awesome. Yeah, this <laughs> one is uh, this one is I think it is a mix from uh, a lot of them because you can see here all the different elements. Okay. So I sculpt first like a body, you know, a, a common body for three apes. Okay. This one is Kong, Raphael as King Kong. Oh, that's awesome! I, I was gonna say that that better be Raphael. <laughs> yeah, it, just, it is. It, look... <laughs> it is Raphael, and and I made it. Sorry, this is from the jetty. So it oh, has okay, okay. jungle in the back, and this is a different a different piece. So that it's whole back separated. is a different. Okay. Yeah, you you. I will print it. I will print this in a different in a different piece and it will be then glued here. As I say, I love to, to add small details and it won't be painted, but they will be there. And the, the scratch. Yeah, the scratch, for example, maybe the, the chain. The chain, yes. The shackle and on the bottom of the Here it has some bruise. Here, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, like he's probably like missing like a little piece of fur right there or something. Yes, yes. And is that was that a tusk on his bicep? Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, and so also the, the 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 hands the hands are uh, will be articulated too. So the do you mean by the wrist or the fingers? The the wrist. The wrist, okay. And also, I, I never articulate the the, the legs because yeah. because for me it is not necessary. And if, uh, in my experience, when you put uh, here a uh, uh, loose uh, articulation, it, it will be it it will provoke like a fall or it wouldn't be uh, safe. Well, you know? I think I think once you find a, a a good stance for him to stand, especially yeah. if he's kind of top heavy, the figure's a little top heavy. You yeah. kind of want to lock it into place because if if it's top heavy, like 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 I just said, it's gonna fall. So what? So it, does does it come with the hat and the glasses, or or is that just a, a look that you're playing with? This will be a, an, another one, a different one. I'm changing because I schooled everything in the same the same file. Uh huh. So I'm changing it, and I will show you now the. Uh, for me, it is Mikey, the Mikey Bigfoot. Oh, okay. Oh, I forget to to show you this. This will will come too with Kong. This on accessory, uh, the necklace, accessory. looks like a, yes, a chess the guard. Necklace. That's awesome. Look at the one eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got one eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Oh, he's got he's got a sigh a sigh and a plunger hanging out of the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a small flag. Yeah, that's awesome. 
and also the the yeti it is a snow female so it has a a, a bear and a he's got, he's got a winter hat on <laughs> yeah and also the back it has a, a snowman a snowman and um what is that mistletoe um i don't know the name it is muerdago in spanish is it uh like christmas christmas yeah. you kiss under yeah. Mis yeah, mistletoe yeah, yeah. yes mistletoe. mistletoe yes and also I, ha I have the weapons here so let me show you the pickaxe um, maybe. pickaxe yeah the frozen and so th those too. would be like ice weapons they'll be like blue i guess yeah the, uh, um yeti will be leo the yeti will be leo yeah leo for me this is an example of it can be donny too why not but for me leo is better because the blue will mix better with the with the white of the skin and that's only the reason that i am um, that i'm using you know yeah so also i have here we will see let me one second oh i have other weapons here this will be for kong it is a snake why it is not? a snake yeah it it feels uh, wild enough to, to be part of the, so, the fever. So what? It'll be Raph as Kong, Leo as Yeti. Yeah. And Michelangelo like like uh, Bigfoot. Michelangelo as Bigfoot. Is yeah. is Donnie going to be in there too? Not sure because I, I don't know uh, another cryptid or another ape that will match. No, no, no. Do, no uh, not... Do Donatello as Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, it is not bad, not bad. Let me show you some unseen stuff if you want. Ooh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, this is not finished yet. Okay. Okay. This one is not finished yet. And maybe it won't be ended being this character because maybe I will change it. But this kind is. This is a. Uh, was that Leonardo's know. Robin Hood or something? No, this is uh, Tarzan. Oh, Tarzan, I don't know. You know the, the jungle... Tarzan? Tarzan, yes. Tarzan, so this Tarzan. is Leo as Tarzan. Uh, yes, uh -huh. but it can be other character, but because it, it can be a, a savage or some kind of... Uh, it can be Conan. It Conan. can be... Oh, Conan would be cool. So you you can see here how I can scroll and I can change stuff. And for me now it feels better. I will I will change it that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's this awesome. is uh, a, um, a whip one, work in progress one. And I think I you can remove this. Yes. Okay. This will be hollow. But I'm not sure yet about this one. I'm not sure. I, I like it, but I think I can do it better. So from now, it will be uh, put it aside to yeah. finish it later. Will, will the and, arrows be able to come out or will the arrows stay? I don't, I don't know. Maybe. No, no, it won't because that will be missed or broken. So yeah, I need to make a lost. chunk. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is fake. This is just yeah. decoration. <laughs> and also I have here another one let me one second a wizard one a wizard yes a wizard donatello as a wizard too this is that's donatello. awesome <laughs> donatello as a wizard look at that <laughs> oh his face is gone face there it is. <laughs> You can see here how the elements, they are not fusioned, they are not mixed yet. So yes. you can move it, take it off. Yeah, take it off. And the head will be able to move. But it's so interesting to see that, see everything that uh, that goes into this. 
Yeah, they are they are made with a uh, tons of parts, different parts, and you can oops, you can uh, modify all of the all of the parts individually. The bird will be fixed here, and the head will be independent. So I'm working on that too. I'm not sure about it, but something about see. a turtle with a beard looks fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a that's a point too, because uh, uh, turtles are hairless, and sometimes they doesn't feel right <laughs> when you put hair on on them. Um, but on on this one, I I put a lot of details, like you can see here, cards coming out from his from his sleeve. Ah, uh, so he yeah. literally has cards up his sleeve. Yeah, and it has also. The total ne Necronomicon or something like that. The book. The, the book with the, with the slice here. <laughs> and a and, uh, potion uh, pouring stuff. Yeah. And... Is that is that a smiley face on the shell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 90s or 80s. Yeah, it, it, and it's... also uh, his... his, his uh... He has a head on the back of his uh, head? Yeah. <laughs> That's like awesome. in like in Harry Potter, yeah, yeah, it has a face. So you can see the textures that we were talking about. Like I'm trying to 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 add more texture. Lately. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're doing a great job with it. Thank you. You you could you could simply tell that the texture of his pants and his sleeves are different than the texture of his hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to make it a little bit different, and and that is that. Small details make the difference for me. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not sure about this one. It's yeah. still a work in progress. Still a work in yeah. progress. But just like you said, the hair on a turtle, I, I think it's awesome. Like um the the new Motu TMNT line. Yeah, yeah. Michelangelo yeah. with the hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I man, love that, it too. That yeah, yeah. the hair on that <laughs> figure is, <crazy>. is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny to me. It's fun and and even I try to add mustache to my yeah. turtles too and then and another kind of stuff and it is it is so funny it is funny because it is absurd it has no sense as well but i enjoy it a lot see this is awesome getting to sit down with you because from your work alone you can tell you're into it but now talking to you i could hear you laughing and smiling and i could see that this just makes you happy and brings yeah, you joy totally. and, and you enjoy it and it's never going to be I'm not saying that it's not hard and it's not a lot of work, but it's never going to be a job or work if you are enjoying the hell out of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I, mean, I totally agree. And this uh, keeps me smiling. This keep keeps me making me uh, so happy. Yeah. I enjoy to uh, show my stuff to my friends. To my and 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 see their reactions and make them laugh and even today after a lot of years yeah I keep in, enjoying it and 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 if not I I will stop I'm not gonna lie it is not always easy and it and you have to deal with a lot of stuff because the 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 the, the life keeps running. And, and stuff it keeps coming and you have to deal with the life too and you can't be always um a, a, a crazy a, a crazy mad doctor laughing <laughs> in your in your room and making weird stuff and but you gotta but, have a healthy balance and in moderation but yeah it's it it definitely brings you joy and you can see that yeah <laughs> i love this one so i'm showing you now uh, a street shark that it is still unseen. This was based on an um, produce, uh, on a concept uh, made in made in Mattel, made by an artist. Oh wow! Yes, this is Spaz. Spaz. I don't know how, how to say it. Spaz or Spaz. It is an. I think the name is uh, lionfish. Lionfish. Yeah, from the little guys. It was made by Ken Morgan. He worked in Mattel in the 90s, in the early 90s. And then 
he uh, he's an amazing artist and i bought i i meet him because i i bought uh, some prototypes from him okay we come closer uh, and i saw you i saw him my work and and he's a kind of inspiration for me too and he was in the in the early 90s he worked in the in street sharks also in in mighty max i think and and some other lines i love mattel uh, i also love playmates and for me they are both like the the, the top is this a design that he worked on that yeah. never got produced yes he made uh, three designs two of them i saw with them on my instagram once was the fangler the the anglefish the other was a horse so crap that's that's the that's a thing horse so 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 horseshoe crab horseshoe horseshoe crab oh oh, oh horseshoe 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 horseshoe, horseshoe crab. crab yes and the other the third one was this one the 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 spa did you did you show him yeah 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 he, i, he I saw with him a lot of a lot of he probably he probably loves it yeah he loves it but for me it is not easy to to show my work to some to someone like like him because well it's probably a weird position for you because this yeah. is someone that you were inspired by yeah and someone that you look up to and and you appreciate his artwork that it inspires your artwork and now you get to show him and get his feedback <laughs> on it. it it's it's yeah. a weird it's a weird spot to be in but it's probably no, it's but, probably amazing to be in at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it is amazing, and, and he's so kind, and he say nice words to me. Yeah. Well, that that this is the the, the figure, and then the the mouth close. Okay, so you have articulation in the mouth. Yeah, and the uh, the eyes comes off when you close <laughs> the. Well, no, I I think comes in when you close the the mouth. Oh, so it'll, it'll go like. Yeah, you know, like yeah, that's like an action where the mouth opens, eyes go in or yeah. eyes go out or whatever. <laughs> um, it reminds me of like a like a like a real Ghostbusters kind yeah. of thing. Other figures or Wim Wim has also the same the same action feature. Well, I I want to show you now uh, Spawn because I love Spawn. Spawn 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 was uh, very important in my in my in my. Teenage, it was my favorite. Uh, yeah, that character. early, that early uh, McFarlane work was so good. Yeah, the way the way he did Spider Man is still my top. Venom, three right? Fi- Venom. Uh, yep. he creates Venom. Yeah, the way he did uh, Venom and Spider Man are iconic. Oh, this yeah, was that, Spawn. That, that's fantastic. And Spawn was made also. It is was not fully sculpted. I use some part from the from the Caveman Leo. I was actually um, just gonna say that looks like the yeah. the, the caveman sculpt. It ones that they are so 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 crazy. The ones that that fired the pizza from the from his belly. Oh, the uh, the, 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 the 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 pizza throwers. The one with the big eyes. The tossing pizza. To- the, yeah, tossing. The, yeah. to- the the tossing turtles. Tossing turtles. Yes. And I use uh, some some parts from from them too. And I, I love this one. Yeah, the, that's the, that's amazing. I scanned the bones by myself and put it uh, here. That's this was so funny for me to do. Like just not adding a, a school because I have my own schools, my turtle okay, schools. Okay. Your turtle schools. So yeah. So see those those there there it is again. Those tiny little hidden details that you yeah. can stare at the figure for like a minute or two, and you're gonna catch something new every few seconds. So has has this one been done yet, or is this yeah, I have a prototype. Okay, so, but so so you haven't actually put this on a pre-order yet, though. Yeah, not 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 on a pre-order, but but it will be on pre-order. On, well, well, I I will make a few very soon. I I can imagine. Um, I I think I've actually I think I saw the picture of your prototype on your Instagram. The the it has a lot of bright greens on it, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. The the and a different head. Maybe. Yeah, the the greens and the different colors, like the black and the reds, is gonna bring yeah. out all the accents and those chains and the skulls and the shield and the the knee pad and the the spikes on the on the on the feet and the I love how on the the thigh and the shoulder it has like uh, the, yeah, yeah. The, the the some the, parts yeah the different skin like underneath there 
And I will show you, let me show you some of my my last work. Okay. Uh, this this is just uh, exercise because I I keep as, as as I told you I keep learning I keep uh, making different stuff. Oh, Ooh, who's this? <laughs> well, this was just uh, an exercise to make uh, the um, different characters. I made I made some toxic uh, zombies or something like that or ghouls or it looks like a toxic pirate or something. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I have an idea to make just part to be like uh like an accessory kit type thing. Yeah, just for customizers or something like that to make different heads on different parts and oh, put... okay so so if someone wants to customize their own figures yeah. they can yeah. buy the parts and then mash it together whichever way yeah. they choose gotcha okay so, i'm not sure about that this was just a just an exercise for me at first but then i think well maybe somebody wants this for putting it into i don't know a toxic say the figure or something like that yeah, yeah sailor man. you could also work for toxic crusaders yeah um yeah this know? definitely would fit right in with toxic crusaders i can picture that being green orange red <laughs> yeah yeah bright pink and all the all those neon colors that playmates use with them part of my work is just sitting and sculpt for improving for learning purpose not for making any anything in particular just for, for practice for make yeah I don't know how, how this will end. No, but that's a cool idea. If if you had a set that let's just say it had hype, you know, hypothetically, if it had five heads, five sets of arms, five torsos, and five sets of legs, and they all had magnets on them, you can customize it and use this arm with this body and this head with this arm and vice yes. versa, and you can do whatever you want. That's my that's the the, the idea. That was the that is the idea. And I, I, I don't know if, it, if that will come out. But who knows? Who knows? For me, and even if it doesn't, just like you said, it's still practice, and it's gonna yeah. touch. It's gonna it's gonna heighten your craft when it comes to yeah. the next time you want to make a figure that looks similar to this. Yeah, it is not time uh, uh, wasted because no, because also because I can use some parts in, in in other stuff, and maybe some of the accessories will will be used in the future. Because I keep everything. I keep so you keep the, everything and you yeah. might have made a weapon for a figure yeah. that you're not using, but then the skull for the accessory you can use with a newer figure or something. Correct. Let me show you something. You can see here, this was a, 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 a fast scan I used. Is that Space Usagi? Yeah. Just for proportions. To not lose the proportion and, over, and that kind of stuff. But... Here is the guy. He was a uh, well. I I I I colored him black spot, black like spot. the like the legend of the black spot that a mark in your hand. Yeah, it, it was planned to be black, and it has a lot of uh, a lot of pirate stuff here because I love pirates and uh, that, they are that, so fun. That looks like uh, what is it? What is it? Starface? What's his name? The one from uh, the little the little. Uh, starfish that came with uh, he came with uh, Ray Filet. Mm, I, I don't know the name. Uh, I remember it, but yeah, Ray yeah. Filet. I I think his name yeah. was was Starface. Yeah, yeah. It was like Scarface. <laughs> well, I made a uh, Starface and a Pelican here with a uh, with a uh, Tommy Gun or something <laughs> like that. No, no, not a Tommy Gun. It is a, a Gatling a Gun or something. Yeah, you can like say yes with with the with the heads. With the ammo coming from his mouth, I love this. I love this one. Do you know what I? I think, I think the best part about this figure are the three little guys. Yeah, for me too. So the the main the main character it has uh, it doesn't has a lot of sense, and but uh, I mean I can't use this. You can use that for something figure. else. Yeah, because all all three of those little guys they all have so much character. So much personality and the monkey the monkey uh, yeah. <laughs> everything is better with monkeys what does he got a cigar in his mouth <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's a little bit excited yeah a little bit <laughs> <laughs> like a small captain or something like that like, yeah. <laughs> watch over here <laughs> this this is in in, in some way uh, an, an exercise too because i decide to make a uh, uh, 
rope is is rope rope it rope yeah yeah so so you practice getting the rope around around like yeah. his his the leg texture, and yeah. the texture make... of the rope and yeah. the way the the gun is tucked in his belt it's it's all just like you said it, it's it's not wasted time it, it's practice yeah i don't know for me this one is not good enough to be to be uh, made and i can use it to to show you and 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 laugh a little bit and yeah and have fun and and uh honestly i just was i just like the the monkey the monkey is the, the best, monkey the monkey is the fantastic for me the monkey uh, the, the pelican and the starfish are definitely the best yeah. thing about this <laughs> like i said so much personality because the the actual figure he's covered up so much that he's basically like expressionless so mm -hmm. the character the personality of this figure is with the three little guys yeah <laughs> well i i I appreciate you showing me a bunch of stuff. Nah, nothing. Thank, thank you for for being interested in this. Oh, um, dude, nah, bro. I am. Um, my pleasure. I would love to to show this on on my Instagram, honestly. But for me, I, I'm not a very good content creator. I, I think I, I I I'm not a really good communicator, and my English is maybe not the best for. Well, I think you don't give yourself enough credit because your English is fine. You you might stumble on a word here or there, but ninety eight percent, I I can understand everything you're saying. <laughs> yeah, but but I'm, but I'm not sure. You know, I'm I'm not I, I not feel well. I'm feeling now really comfortable, and that that's why I'm showing this kind of stuff. I I can I can talk, but I I not I I don't feel as uh, as comfortable making a life or showing for other people like in, in my stories or something like that yeah uh, talk, talk to the camera it's so hard for me too gotcha yeah i understand that that's uh, the, the the main reason i, I didn't um uh, made any interview yes i, I made a, an online show and um, about turtles that's why i didn't made an interview uh, uh before am, uh, I, am, am i your first interview yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. The, the very first post podcast, I must say. And then I uh, rated, <laughs> yes. So I, I made some 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 rated before, but uh, uh speaking, yeah, yeah, first like uh, audio and yeah. video interview. Audio, well, yeah. well, I appreciate that, dude. I really <laughs> do. But I those dude, seriously, thank you. I didn't even know that going into it that this was the first uh, podcast you were on and the first time you actually sat down and talked to someone visually and, and yeah. you know, with audio. And that makes me that makes me even like you more as a creator, Perfect. man, because because yes. it, it, it shows that you're very passionate about this. You're obviously into it. It's it's successful. People are loving these. And I've Thank I you. talk to people all the time in the turtle groups that see anything that you do and they'll release a picture saying, like, oh, look what look what look what Ahimo's doing next. People are into it, man. And it's been nothing but a pleasure talking to you. I think that I've made a friend with you as well. You know, like I feel uh, the same. I feel the same. I I I was very comfortable after seeing after telling you that that this is not my thing, but and also, I, I I think I I told you uh, like if 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 you were my 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 friend, I mean I'm I'm not hitting anything. I I'm telling I'm talking with you like like the way you would talk to a friend. Yeah. When I did uh my Turtle Tuesday one on one video on you a few months back, mm -hmm. I I was. I wanted to reach out to you and kind of, you know, pick your brain a little bit on like, you know, how you would want me to do it or, you know, what you did or didn't want me to include because I wanted to put a spotlight on on Eggmo Adventures and you ended up talking to me and gave me so much information and so much of a uh, and such a peek into the way that your production goes and the way you do things that I was like, wow, man, he's super friendly. He's super yeah. super friendly. And it's it, it's a it's been nothing but a pleasure meeting you. And Thank now you. that I got to actually sit down and, and speak to you, I I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, bro. We can let's, do let's do this can... again. Yeah, let's do yeah. This again, let's, you let's know do what I was talking about. So I think the next time we do this, my buddy Josh that I was telling you about, who just got the 3D printer, mm -hmm. I think he would enjoy talking to you as well and picking your oh, brain. Of course. If Wait, you don't mind, if you don't no, mind, no, 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 uh, it's, it's okay. I, no, it, it could it could be. 
it could be great. I mean, I mean, I have nothing to hide. I, I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to, to help other people and, and to show my, my, my process. I stopped making uh, uh, work in progress pictures for my Instagram because I think they are not as interesting as, as, as the final product itself or, but uh, most of my, my day is just me making shit and showing <laughs> the, the, the whip. Uh, pics of tone to my friends and and telling them oh look at this new color or or maybe uh yeah, look, that kind of uh, stuff like like work in progress all the time yeah dude uh, add, add me to that list my line is always open and i'll always give you feedback thanks, you know what i mean i appreciate it but i will say i will disagree on you if you think the behind the scenes stuff isn't interesting because one of my favorite parts you know say you love a movie right it's mm -hmm. one of your favorite movies. You buy the the DVD or the Blu-ray and you see the behind the scenes features on how it was made and uh, the the failed attempts at, at doing this action scene or uh, old designs to the costumes or to the, to the car or whatever that weren't used. But it's still interesting to see what went into the final product that made it work for the actual finished movie. As an example, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. And I think that's because you are creative too. Um, and you're like me, I, I well, I, I do love uh, the, 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 the process and how and, and know how, how, how to make the, the things and, and, and seeing and seeing all the stuff coming together and, and, and reaching a, a, the final point and uh, that, that's my 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 stuff too. That, that that's the the thing that that I watch on YouTube and 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 on Instagram too. But for general people, for collectors, uh, maybe maybe I'm wrong. You I don't know, but maybe is... but like some people might not enjoy it as much as the finished yeah. product. But I, I I definitely think there's an audience out there for Definitely. the making of behind the scenes, uh, alternate sketches, alternate designs, uh, all yeah, the, you know, the, the rejected ideas or something. Some stuff yeah, like exactly. That. The rejected ideas or something that, you know, it took you five different designs to nail the one you really liked, yeah. but I think you could show the other handful and people would still enjoy watching. There's something different about supporting someone who is as passionate as you are, Pablo. And you deserve, thanks, like I said thanks. before, you deserve all the praise and uh, keep doing the work you're doing, man. And like I said, I'm, I'm happy to have finally sat down with you and, and spoken to you. And uh, yeah, let's definitely do this again, man. This, this was definitely fun. Uh, I must say that just the last words. Okay. Uh, I, I, I really want to, to thank you, bro, for, for giving, giving me this, this chance to express myself, to, to show this kind of stuff, to show my, my process and, to maybe to talk too much about uh, no, it's fine, man. the shitty stuff. <laughs> and also I, I want to, I, I really want to, to thank to, to all the people who is, who is following me since, I, I don't know, maybe eight years ago, seven years ago. The, <laughs> that uh, blows my mind. Even, even today. That people uh, I, all I around can, the world are yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and I can, re I can believe I, I, I I don't know. This this is my my job, you know. Yeah. And it uh, it still feels crazy and and and, and amazing and, and and all of that love really appreciate it. And I'm so I feel so honored, you know. You keep doing what you're doing, and the people will continue to follow and support you. It's as simple as that, man. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you for uh, for coming same. on the show. I I really appreciate you being on the channel. Please, guys, make sure you go support him. Eggimo Adventures on Instagram. The links will be down below. All right, so on that note, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with Pablo and I, checking out the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until the next one, guys, later. Bye-bye.